and rolling up and down the fingers. And into the palm. And the pads of the pinky. And the thumb. And down to the wrist. And across the knuckles. Going to do the fingers, the index and thumb. Middle finger and thumb. Ring finger. And pinky. Oh, the hand index. Middle. Ring. And pinky. Let's go around the back. Switch. 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 And hinge at the waist, go through the legs. Switch. 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 Put the ball on the floor. Assess how your feet feel. Make a note of the ankles, the knees, the hips. And step on the ball right in the middle of the foot and press down three times. Up to the knuckles, once on each going across. Roll across the knuckle. And bring the ball to the top of the heel and roll across the top of the heel. Press down right underneath the ball of the foot, right below the ball of the foot. At the side of the top of the heel. And in the middle of the fifth metal cross. Roll down each of the bones. And scribble. Three, two, one, release, recess, and go to the other foot three times in the middle. Go up to the knuckles. Roll across. Oh. Roll across the top of the heel. Press down in the three spots. Roll down the bones. And scribble. Three, two, one, release, reassess, get rid of the ball, and let's do some good morning. And then shake.
make the tree. Three, two, one, center, twist at the waist, swing the arm. And center with ocean wave breathing. Fingers and thumb at the base of the spine. On one hand, the other hand reaches out to the side, gathering in starlight. And center. Same thing in the other direction. Let's take some steps forward. I reinstalled everything, rebooted my computer. I still have static. Sorry. I don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah. No one might, else? It might be my motor. It might be my motor. My fan. Oh, that's probably what it is. Okay. Let's go. Elbow to opposite knee. And slap the opposite heel. And slap it behind. And go do a cross step with a twist and a punch. And then either walk, or march, or jog. Going to be doing the Zach Bush 4 today. Do lots of squats, with or without weights. Your choice, no problem either way. But I wouldn't do Squats in the warm up here, do whatever else you want, including what you're doing. As long as it's safe, keep a hop. And uh, get some rolling after class. Going to go in five, four, three, two, 
Place those fingers and hands up overhead. Come on, your toe, come on your toes if you can. Come down and bend back. Back to center, bend in one direction. And then the other. Back to center. Lower your hands, push out of the chest. Come on down. Interlace the fingers behind the back and raise the hands up. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Go a little higher. And come on down and shrug. Roll the shoulders back. And forward. Spin the arms and rotate in one direction. And the other. One palm is down, one palm is up, flip flop. Bring one arm across the body, press in at or above the elbow. And then the other hand, arm. Arm behind the back, press down and in on the elbow. And then the other. Form a W, squeeze the shoulder blades together and hold. Release, squeeze. Release and squeeze. Release. Grab both elbows, well, side to side. And come on down and rotate the neck. I just throw this up. Aha. The other way. Static stop. Static yeah. stop. I realized I had music on, which is good when you're playing uh, background sounds. Thank you. And now. Uh, so it was picking up the fan on my uh, MacBook. And go left to right, I mean, uh, ear to shoulder. Left 
And bring one hand over the top of the head, cup the ear. Chin is up. Eyes are looking out of the corner of your eyes towards the ceiling as you tug gently. And then your chin down towards the collarbone, looking at the floor. Come on back to center and repeat the other way. Try to keep the chin up, eyes up. And then chin down. And go on back to center, tuck in that chin and pack like a pigeon. And then let's go to stick. Let's put the stick inside the arch of one foot. We have a foot comes out to the side, bend the knee of that side, slide down the stick, stretch the inner thigh. Same thing in the other direction. Come on up, bring one leg forward, put the stick behind it. Slide down the stick. Lift the sole of the foot and wiggle it back and forth if you can. And come on up and press the sole of that foot against the stick. And repeat both stretches with the other leg. Go forward, stick behind. Slide down, the sole comes up. That says, pet me, pet me to that foot. Come on up and sole foot against the foot. And come on back. You're going to be back your leaves. Dynamic stick your team. Put the stick on the top of the shoulders and twist it to waist. And then bring some steps into it if you want. Nice and slow. And you're going to have to accommodate me when I'm playing this thing. You, you steer clear. You yeah. understand? I won't try to hit you, uh, but keep, you have to accommodate keep, me, my um, friend. I'm done of you picking the wrong time for everything. First thing. And then bring the stick up overhead, back and forth, side to side. And down below the waist, side to side. And then on one side, back and forth. And then the other side. And then come out front and pedal the kayak. Uh oh, we did a waterfall. Let's go in first. And 
and then up to the uh, shoulders, block the wrists. Down below the waist, back up to the shoulders. And then back overhead and back below the waist. Up at the shoulders, reverse the grip, lock the wrists. And come on down. And up. And down. Up at the shoulder, bring the stick behind the shoulders and do some knee ups, alternating. So only as high as feels safe for you. And then some hip rotation, same thing. Only go out as, go as high as feels safe. And we're going to bring the stick around front. Hold on with two hands, one hand, finger or two, step back. Come up on your toes for a second, back on your heel for a second, and do about 15. And rock it back and forth. And 15. Okay. We'll put the stick down. We'll pick the weights up if you're using them. I'm going to turn on the fan since it won't be picked up anymore. And we'll add those weights. Four moves squat, raise around the clock, either outside or in. Or you can alternate and press. I'm going to move the squat around in your routine. We're going to start with the squat, but it'll become second and then third. If we're doing three rounds, we're going to pick up speed on each. And we're going to start right now 10 reps of the squat. Keep the back straight. Well, not straight, but neutral of bending the spine. And take a breath. Lifts. And a nice breath. Around the clock. And a breath. Presses. And 
Good. Come on down. And take your breaths. Or three. And we're going to start a little bit faster this time and with the raises. Nice breath. Squats. I'm going to go around the clock. I'm going through the middle myself. Whatever works for you. And some break, uh, some uh, and take some breaths. Mm. Good today. All right, going to move the squat into the third position. And start raises, then around the clock. And then here we go. I'm going to do five of each myself. Lots. Oh, that's it. Woo. Okay, if you have weights, put them down, gather your breath. I'm gonna do four, seven, eight this week. A great breath for calming down, relaxing. If you uh, are having trouble getting to sleep, Four in diaphragmatically through the nose, hold for seven, exhale through eight. If my pace is too fast or slow for you, make, make your own. I'm going to do five rounds. If you do four or six, no, uh, no problem. Here we go.
And then rub those hands together. Going to the chi ball. And the centering with two breaths. Let's open our hearts. Pause on this inhale. Exhale, send it out. And center to breast. And bring down chief and thumb. And gather from below. And the ah. Uh, <laughs> All right. Thanks, Tom. Oh, you're very welcome. Have a great day. Stay cool. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Okay, yeah, Chuck. Welcome back. Great to see you. And sorry for the uh, buzzing in the beginning there. Glad I uh, figured it out. In, in reminiscence of that. I think Jonathan is muted. <laughs> But I, yes, Bill. No, that was my thing. That was my. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to do some uh, rolling. Your phone. You're muted, though, Jonathan. I can't hear you. This is not my old phone. I got a second phone to be permanently in the car. Oh. So I never have to. Because I've been stuck before where I can't find the phone and right. it's like, oh, and then I can't navigate or I can, but it just adds so much stress. So this is dedicated for the car. And until I find my other phone, this is the phone, but it won't let me in because it wants me to go to my phone. And even when I try the other method, it's asking me for devices that I don't have the power cord at the moment. So it's like. Uh -huh. Every which way I'm blocked. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're here now. It makes it more interesting, and in the book and movie, you know, it'll be, it'll be great. <laughs> Little details like that. You can't make them up. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we we're gonna we roll them out. Here we go. Let's get a roller and a ball. And I'll meet you on the ground. So the camera. All right. So we'll have to. Let's do the hips. Putting the ball under the gluteus maximus, rolling around, looking for a tender spot. When you find it, lean into it. You can modulate the pressure with your arms and other leg. And just hold, breathe into it, and let the ball do its work.
three, two, one. Gluteus medius, the small muscle on the side of the hip. Yep. My last is right in front of, right over here. That is usually more trendy. You might want to come over on your side. And again, find that tender spot and lean into it. Bow it. What are you doing? You just stretch me. Three, two, one, and come on up, and we'll get the other side. It's Maximus. And three, two, one, and then the medius. Mm. Three. Two and one. Okay, today we're going to do a little different. We won't do the um, hamstrings, we're going to do the quads. So we're going to lie face down with the roller right above the knees, roll up to the top of the quad and back and forth. You can cross one leg over the other. Move the cord around on the roller a bit. You lean to the left and the right. Get both of them. And then we're going to do the TFL. Put the roller behind you, come along, come out on your side. Bulk of the roller is behind you. You're on your side, and again, you're rolling from above the knee right up to the hip. Find a particular tender spot, stay there. And again, just rotate a little bit. On the roller, stretching that to a fellow at different angles. Three, two, one, and go to the other one. Three, two, and one. For a long time, I would never have any particular tender spots. Now I've got plenty to work with. Oh, good. <laughs> I guess. Which is, I'm happy about. No, I'm yeah. just because I really am starting to learn how valuable this is. 
Yeah, so you know it's there. Right. Good. Well, I'm glad it all worked out. We got muted again somehow. There you go. Ball in bed this morning, I was watching tennis and I was just playing with it. And then I was like, oh, wow. I was working out all these things in my hands, like all the stuff that we did before that at first, you know, I was like, I mean, I told you like the, with the foot thing, like, yeah. I, am I supposed to feel all these individual? I don't, I'll do it. And I kept doing it. And now I'm at the point where, oh my God, it, it keeps just making better and better sense. It's like, oh, of course. <laughs> Great. So, anyway. All right. Thanks a lot, Tom. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Yeah, bye. bye.